We created a course really to respond to getting someone perfectly prepared to go to Italy to take advantage of this fantastic opportunity. Our Italian uh, culinary experience is very, very unique. They spend 10 weeks here at the school using our state-of-the-art facilities. And after 10 weeks of learning the basics here, and they're given practical exams, at the same time, they're also learning Italian language. And with those combined skills, we send them over to uh, the Alma School in Parma, Italy, and they spend nine weeks there learning from the Italians, working in Italy, and really experiencing, immersing, and getting that feeling. And then they have the option, if they want, to do another nine-week internship at an Italian restaurant in Italy. We are able to provide our students with those internships and make sure that they have housing. It's really giving you the life experience. There's a thousand reasons why you want to learn how to cook here. Most of all, the people that are here are fascinated and intensely involved in their food. And when we find that kind of excitement and that kind of passion, it drives people to higher understanding. It's like being in Oxford to study English. They have access to everything that the Italian Culinary Academy has to offer. You know, our library, our demonstrations, our student activities. In New York, we were in the kitchen from 9.30 to 3.30, and we had language two to three times a week. The curriculum starts very easy, you know, introductory almost, with uh, antipasto and very simple things so that they get uh, to do taillage. You have to learn how to cut and slice properly. You have to know how to uh, slice an onion. You have to know how to make a julienne. After that, they go into appetizer, and slowly they work up their way all the way to dessert. So we're talking about a very large range that includes all protein. The New York experience, there was a good rigor about the routine. It's not like being immersed in something every single day. In New York, the professors were wonderful and we got great skills. But here, it's all about passion for this country, for this culture, for this food. For many of them, this will probably be their first time to taste an Italian tomato or Italian green. The way that it's grown, and it has been grown for so many centuries, we felt that without that component, it's very difficult for a student to understand truly the soul of Italian cuisine. There is an historian on staff that teaches them about the history of food, and there is the reality itself, the outside world which is full of art and full of uh, culture. We take three field trips, one in Tuscany, we go to a butcher and see him break down a piece of meat in about four minutes. We go and tour around Emilia Romana, the region in which we're living, and we see the cheese, and we see the, the culatello, and we see the prosciutto, and then we go into Lombardia and we see a whole host of other things. Geography has a sense, has a meaning, has influence. Some regions are connected by a river, some others are secluded and isolated by a mountain. This explains why some regions tend to have some elements in common or rather strongly differ from one another. We have the best chef of each region coming to the school in Italy teaching their regional cuisine. We are the only school in America that has been able to uh, work with the government on visas to get you a stage in the top restaurants of Italy. No one is going to get you into, legally, into a restaurant in Italy to stage. When they are in Italy at the stage, they are in the professional kitchen with the professional chef. They work side by side. In their stage, they go on to a restaurant in Italy that is a Michelin rated. They will work very closely with Italian chefs from different regions and learn the specialties of that region. They get to see a business from the inside. I'm excited to be under the, the tutelage and the example of, uh, of a master chef. And you're actually working in a restaurant. You're not just at school where you can make a mistake. It gets serious at that point.